Hi there, everybody. Mm. Hop into bed. This story describes very nicely some of the children I know. I know a few children that this story is perfect for. Hop into bed by Nicholas Oldland. Bob loved to hop. He also liked to fly, to bounce, to twist, to flip, to spring, to flop, to jump, to leap, and to crash. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Eventually, though, it was time to come home. Bobby, time to come home. He was in the middle of practicing a flying backflip when he spotted his mother and his sister. Time to come home, Bobby. Time to come home. No more playing. It's getting dark. He landed his flip, swam, ran, all the way home and swung right into the house. Bob flew up the stairs. He brushed his teeth, washed his face, put on his pajamas. Nobody had to help him. He did it all by himself. And then his mother came and said, lights out. And Bobby hopped into bed. There was a problem, though. He'd been so busy that he was overtired. And he wanted, all he wanted to do was hop and hop and hop and hop. And then finally his dead dad had to beg him to stop. No more hopping. I wonder whether his father said no more hopping or if you don't get into bed right away and stop moving around, I'm going to have to do something serious. What do you think? What do you think? Did he get the... Or did he get a very nice little voice? Hmm. But Bob kept on hopping. He hopped and hopped and hopped until the sun came up. And then, guess what? He fell asleep. But you know what comes next. Bob's dad tried to get him up, but Bob could not open his eyes. Good morning! So his mom took him down the hall. She ran him a cold bath, but he still did not wake up. <clears throat> his mom brought him downstairs, his dad fed him his breakfast, and then drove him to school. But Bob still not, still did not wake up. That's how tired he was. At school, Bob slept all the way through English. He snored through band practice. He even snoozed through a field trip to the zoo, and he was still asleep when his dad picked him up at the end of the day. Ribbit. 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 At home, Bob's mom and dad talked to him about the importance of a good night's sleep. After dinner, they told him to hop into bed. I think he's had enough to eat, and I think he's ready for bed. Hmm. You think he'll sleep tonight? Let's see. But as soon as he heard the word hop, he shot right up, ran up the stairs, put on his pajamas, and leapt into the air. And he did a triple flip and double twist and hopped right onto the bed. And then guess what? Fortunately, he wasn't so tired that he didn't fall right to sleep. Hmm. So.
So what's this story all about? This story is telling you it's important to have your exercise during the day, but take some time to settle down so you can fall asleep at night. I know a few people in my family that sometimes get so wired they can't sleep at night because they've been going all the time. you got to try to slow down. Good night, everybody. Hop into bed and go to sleep. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit.